today's Coach Pryor again here at the Coach's Classroom. And we're going to dive right now into hitting. And in this hitting segment, this is part of our hitting boot camp that we run. Now, we run this course usually once a month, uh, once every two months. And it's a great course because it's kind of an immersion program. Kids spend about eight to ten hours. They come on two days. And we really go through hitting and kind of some concepts and get into just not the just uh, not only the mechanics, but the mental side of the game, uh, their plate plan and their preparation at the plate, depending on the level of the kids that are uh, coming to the boot camp, which our boot camp right now really caters to high school prep and high school players. Um, but all of the information is, is excellent for the younger levels. And when we go through this segment right now, you're gonna get more information. I put it right here. You're gonna get more information than you're gonna need. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of information that we give you, but we're just giving you kind of our philosophy and our concept for hitting. And then with that, we're gonna go ahead and break that down and we're gonna filter it, okay? The information will get filtered through an aptitude training and the evaluation. So when we get to the actual T-ball, rookies, minors, majors, and high school prep, it'll all be age appropriate, the things that we're actually teaching. So, but we need to understand where we're going because we need to build from T-ball, we need to build from T-ball to high school prep, we still wanna lay in the foundation, you know, you know, start with the end in mind. You know, if the end in mind is we wanna play high school and be very successful at the high school level, and we're gonna work backwards. Now, everything that we teach is based off the premise of the Major League Baseball. So, you know, we're taking concepts and philosophy based on MLB and hitting and the swing and the kind of analysis that we do here at the high school and what I've done with all the levels that I've coached, we're just taking it and working backwards to break things down and lay in that foundation year after year for those players so that they can reach their true potential and have them, you know, have fun and the best experiences they can have during their youth career. So at the Elite Hitting Boot Camp, it's kind of an immersion program. It's all encompassing. But I'm going to take you through that, and in this series, you have the opportunity to take yourself through the boot camp online, or if you're in the area and you're in the Tampa area, come visit us on one of our weekend boot camps and be able to do it right here live uh, with myself and the other coaching staff and run through the drills and the, and the program right here uh, at Bishop. We're going to dive right into it now with our next slide. And we're going to talk a little bit about expectations. So when we start off, we're going to ask you, you know, what are your expectations for your players, for yourself, um, parents, you know, what their expectations are. Because um, a lot of times parents have uh, an unrealistic expectation when it comes to hitting. They think that if they come to a lesson or, or two or they go to a boot camp or they do some kind of training that they're going to have an aha moment and all of a sudden they're going to be able to hit really, really well. Unfortunately, baseball is very technical, and you guys watching this, you'll know that, that there's a lot of moving parts uh, to hitting, especially. So we want to lay in the foundation. So we'll always stop, start with, what would you like uh, to walk away with with this course? What is it that you want to learn? It might be a drill, might be a technique, it might be a common mistake, like the kids lunging or stepping out or you know, uh, not loading or... Maybe it's not age appropriate for them to load. They need a back load. You know, there's a whole host of things that you may want to get out of the program. So jot that down, and I hope that by the end of this program, you would have ticked the box that you got your questions answered. Also, with your players, you know, what are what are the current challenges? Are they not making good solid contact? Are they making you know, having weak ground balls? Are they hitting to the opposite side? A lot of foul balls. Are they striking out a lot? You know, what's going on? Where are they with their power? You know, some kids will hit for power, some won't, okay? There's a lot of good kids, even the younger kids, we have kids that can hit for power, um, but don't. And then we have little guys that can hit for power that you would never expect that they, they would hit for power. So really, what are we trying to work on here? Off-speed pitches, this is your older kids. Bunning, bunning is critical. I mean, I, we teach bunning here at the high school. Uh, we're very good at it. Um, all my teams, whether it be travel ball, whether it be an 8U team or a 16U team, we focus in on bunting. Bunting is a great part of the game. It's a small ball. Uh, it, it'll win you some ball games. But more importantly, especially for the younger players, if a kid's struggling with, with hitting, bunting is one of the best things that you can do 
usually because the defenses can't defend against it very well. And it builds that player's confidence with having to really get in there and put the bat on the ball and track the ball. So it helps with tracking and building of confidence from my perspective. So bunting is huge, especially at the younger levels. Uh, hitting to the opposite field, situational hitting, and then also we talked a little bit about too many strikeouts. And then ask yourself the question, where are we now? You know, where are you now? You know, where are you as a coach uh, in, in mentoring and developing players? Do you have good systems and sequences and drills and, and, a, and a thought process that will help players perform? I don't believe that players need to go to private lessons um, and, and go years and years and years or months and months and months and see no results. Um, I, I don't believe in that. I believe that, you know, they should be able to start seeing results really within a lesson or two. We should be seeing substantial amounts of improvement. It might just be that they have a better stance at the plate. You know, they're showing more confidence at the plate because they understand where to measure up, where to be, and they're able to get into that good stance. So really find out your expectations and um, figure out where you're going, you know, where are you? And you need to have a starting point before you can go down the road to point B. You know, you need to know where you're at right now. So here at the boot camp, what we'll actually do is we'll video all of our players. It doesn't matter what age, we'll video them. We'll analyze them right here in a group, show them their upper body, their lower body, show them their disconnections, uh, what needs to get connected. And um, we'll mirror that up with a major league guy so they can see what that looks like. So they can really bridge the gap with the video. And it seems that the kids seem to connect a lot faster when you put those pictures in their head. Um, so get the expectations out. We've got Hank Aaron over here, 755 home runs. Guy worked hard, uh, you know, studied a lot of film, was a great hitter, a um, lot, of, lot of technique. Um, just one of my favorite players in the game is during my air. And I love his quote down here. His quote right down here says, my motto was always to keep swinging. Whether I was in a slump or feeling badly or having trouble off the field, the only thing to do was to keep swinging. So that's one of the things when we talked about the mental game, you're struggling at the plate, you're having some failures, you know, really all you can do is win the next pitch, WTNP, win the next pitch and just keep swinging it. You know, eventually you swing it enough times, good things are going to happen, stay positive, stay moving forward, and you'll get to your, your destination. Um, so set your expectations, again, I'm Coach Pryor, right here at the Coach's Classroom.